Okay, in this third example uh, on work done, I want to sort of show you um, a phrase which might um, come up quite a bit in the exams. Uh, and this phrase is, um, I'll put it in quotes, the work done by dot dot dot. Uh, what this means is when things have energy removed from them by a force, a push or a pull, um, or when they have energy added to them, you generally say that the energy um, is given to an object uh, by the thing that's doing the pushing or pulling. So we say this phrase, the work done by. And in this roller coaster topic, I thought we'd have a look at this uh, log flume uh, example um, and show you where you might expect to see this phrase in relation to a log flume. Well, if you remember back in the earlier sort of uh, energy change video for roller coasters, right at the top of a log flume, we've got lots of gravitational potential energy. Somewhere down, some of that the uh, GPE, gravitational potential energy, gets changed into kinetic energy. Uh, and then you hit this sort of, uh, this bit here. Uh, and, and this bit here is where the water is uh, sort of level. This is the thing that's going to slow you down. Okay, So the force which is going to remove uh, kinetic energy from this log flume um, is, is, is actually just friction. It's uh, nothing more than that. It's a lot of water to get through. That water sort of uh, pushes and tugs at the side and at the front of the boat and uh, it just slows it down. So what you might see is this phrase, the work done by friction. And all that means, and all it really means, is that uh, it's the friction force which removes uh, the kinetic energy. And there's a very simple example. We'll have a look at uh, an example to do with cars um, to sort of illustrate this point. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So let's say this car has uh, a kinetic energy of 50,000 joules, okay, and it puts its brakes on. And you can see the brakes working here, okay, so we can draw ourselves a nice big uh, sort of force arrow, okay, all that braking force there, uh, that can call that the force there. And you can sort of see where it's skidding. So let's just take it from you know the end there to, to that distance there. And this distance there, that's the distance that the brakes have been working for. Now, in terms of um, exams and, and the sort of terms that they use, uh, they may well say something like uh, the work done by the brakes. Uh, and, and this simply means um, the amount of energy that the brakes remove from the car. And a simple example would be, okay, um, so if the kinetic energy is, say, uh, 50,000 joules, okay, and the, let's say this, this distance here is, uh, I don't know, 25 meters. Okay, so that braking distance is 25 meters. Okay, and the distance is 25 meters. Okay, well, I might simply ask you, you know, how strong uh, do the brakes have to be? Um, fairly important question for you know, car manufacturers. Have to be, and it's dead simple. What you do is you simply uh, get your work done formula. Oop, wrong color. Uh, get your work done formula. Work done is force times distance. Now, if it brings it to a complete uh, standstill, that work done by the car, when it removes all the kinetic energy, will be exactly equal to the kinetic energy that the car had before the brakes were put on. So that's going to be equal to the force times uh, 25. Well, we can uh, simply isolate the force on its own, okay, by dividing both sides by 25, and we kind of know that if you divide 25 by 25, it's, it's pretty pointless having it there. You can just write F on this side there. Um, and so we can simply do this calculation. Okay, so uh, we can get our calculator out. Okay, and do uh, 50,000 uh, divided by 25 is 2,000. Okay, good. So that means the force of the brakes has to be 2,000 newtons in strength 
in order to remove that kinetic energy from the car. So if you do see the phrase, the work done by the brakes, you know, that's all it's talking about really. 